Hello, Frenzy. My name is Kate Chuck, and welcome to Monkey Island 2, uh, LeChuck's Revenge. Now, I am sitting here. I have my own mug of grog, which is, in this house, is uh, squirt and a bit of moonshine that we got, um, my wife and I bought on our anniversary trip. Um, but I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to dive right in, and we'll start this game again. Well, well, well. Guy Brush Streetwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? It's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean. Scab Island. It's a horrible name. <laughs> so I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait. And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself. Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. The biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big Whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about the Chuck anymore. Ha! Those guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. If I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Uh, part one, the Largo Embargo. Okay. Ooh, it'll get you drunk. Okay. Let's see here. I don't... Oh, we're going oh. into wood tip. Okay, I don't want that. Um... Where do you think you're going, fancy pants? You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge. You gotta pay. Another drink. I don't pay for nothing, I tell you nothing. Um, is this some sort of bread? Who's gonna make me shorty? Ugh. Is this some sort of bribe situation? No, more like extortion. Here. Allow me to demonstrate! Uh, 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 help! Please! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island! <laughs> then who eats the donuts and roughs up the transient? Okay, please not in my new coat. Okay. Put me down now, and I won't have to hurt you. That's right. <laughs> That's a good one. Maybe I won't kill you right now. Thank you. Whoa. Hey, you're loaded. This is my lucky night. Am I? Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Libre. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Traveler's checks. Welcome to Woodtick. No treadzer hunting zone. Welcome to Woodtick. No treadzer hunting zone. Okay, so this one's a little different than the first one. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah. Oh. 
what's the problem with that Largo guy? He really goes against my grain. The peg legs. I'd like to make an end table out of him, but I don't have the guts. With all my tools, I'm still unable to create the one thing that could do this island some good. Like an all-night tattoo parlor? No. Like a voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Oh. I'd just like to browse, thanks. Okay. But don't touch anything. Don't pick it up. Nice sturdy workbench. Everything's laid out just how I need it. What a cute little stool. It's adjusted to my height. Pounds and pounds of nails. I need all of them. Okay. It says Woody. That's me. Comfortable looking chair. It's not for sale. Okay. I guess we'll just walk out the door then. You need to get away from my drink. The bloody lip. Is that a bar? I love it. Help wanted. One week salary in advance. Inquire below. The Bloody Lip Bar and Grill. It reads, Jojo, appearing nightly, no cover charge. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Grog, please. I've got my grog. <laughs> Um, I saw your sign outside. What's the job? Oh, yeah. I really should take that thing down. I hired a new cook just this morning. But if things don't work out with him, I'll let you know. Okay, so... How's business? It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regulars spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. Well, everyone you wants there. a voodoo doll. Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Weren't you just spitting in that? Ew. Walk over the dough or you'll be That's serving disgusting. Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. Nice. Stop spinning. Spinning is like the grossest thing to me. Hey! Hired help only! Largo's been here. Oh, I don't like it. That is disgusting and I hate it. Hello. Nice map. Uh-huh. Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yes. Hi there. Can I help you? Mm. Excuse me. Do you know anything about Big Whoop? Uh-oh. Who sent you here? I should warn you. I'm heavily armed. I was sent by the IRS. Nobody sent me. I'm freelance. You better not try for my files. All my research on Big Whoop is in there. I'm looking for Big Whoop myself. Wanna help? I don't know if I'd be much help. I haven't really been able to find out much hard information. What do you know about it? Uh... Um, I really don't know much about it at all. You mean you never heard of the four men who buried it? No. Tell me all about it. Well, all anyone knows for sure is that there was a shipwreck. The merchant vessel Elaine went down in a terrible storm. Elaine? Only four crew members survived. They washed up on a remote deserted island. 
Some say its name was Inky Island, but I don't believe Inky. that. Well, why don't you believe it? Because there's no such island. Anyway, that's where they supposedly found Big Whoop. But what is Big Whoop? Whatever it was, it was so wonderful, or so horrible, that they never wanted anyone else to find it. So, they took the map they made of the island and split it up among the four of them. And so, they all went their separate ways. Isn't that the story to Cutthroat Island? Let's get real. Um... Wow. That's some story. Of course, it could just be an old legend. But if I could just could see the map scalp. of that island, mm -hmm. I bet I could recognize the shape of the land and track it down myself. Did I mention that I'm Guybrush the LeChuck Busting Stud? Uh-huh. <laughs> Rejected. Okay. So, it seems like the one thing we need to do is get some sort of... Voodoo doll of what's his face there. That's the innkeeper. <laughs> oh, isn't that cute? I am not picking it up, thank you. Oh, isn't that cute? Let's go talk to him. Excuse me, I'd like a room, please. Sorry, we only have one and it's full. Hmm. Only one guest. Yes, but that dang Largo eats like 30. Largo. What? Wait. Largo was, um... Is the bad guy in Thunderball. Coincidence? What's this? Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. No, we don't clean leather. <laughs> Laundry guy. I see. Let's talk to him. What do you know about Largo Legrand? Largo. I don't know anything about cargo or contraband. I'm clean, clean, clean! Old man. <laughs> Jeez. Who are you? Sure, Sonny, I can get out, Stu. That's easy. I can also extract grog, spit, and swamp mud. That's because I'm mad, Marty. I'm mad about getting your clothes as clean as they can be. I've got a laundry type question. Shoot. Do you do alterations here? Alterations? You mean change the numbers on your food stamps? You got some nerve. What? Uh, I'm sorry. You can tell how old this is because you don't change. You just get it on a card now. You don't have actual food stamps anymore. Oops. I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Sounds like my uh, senior quote. <clears throat> I would stay, but I don't want to. <laughs> What is it? Did you ever get that circus started? Do we know you? I'm Guybrush. You tried to sell me the minutes of a PTA meeting in the last game, claiming it was a map? Yep. Map? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Why did you wake us up, Gorbush? What are you guys doing up there? We're performing. Uh, that's right. Performing. That's what we do for a living now. You see, after our circus failed, we started a pirate catering business on nearby Fat Island. The Sacking Lunch. It was quite lucrative. Why aren't you still doing that? The governor of the island made us an offer we, uh... <laughs> Couldn't refuse. So, we sold him the business. But what does this have to do with performing? We're getting to that! We sank the money into one of those newfangled glass bottom boats. 
We wanted to take passengers on sightseeing trips. And search for a place called Drinky Island in our spare time. Boy, did we ever want to get there. Aside from the obvious reason, we had inside information that Drinky was in fact the resting place of the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Uh, did you find anything? Not exactly. You see, we got a bit of a raw deal on the boat. Seems the salesman didn't have any glass for the bottom, so we just left a gaping hole there. By the time we noticed, we were taking on water, fast. We yeah, ended up stranded on a tiny desert island. When did we get to the performing part? We met a philosopher on the island, and he told us something which changed our lives. I'm not gonna... What? What is it? What did he say? Tell me already! He told us that all the world is a stage and that we are merely players. So, we became performance artists. In our current work, we portray man's response to global environmental issues of a changing world. What happened to your leg? It happened during a performance. When he lost the leg, Frank was brilliantly showing the inseparability of the path man walks from the food chain. The symbolism of the cheese was essential. You know, this leg is looking sort of dingy. Would you get some polish over at the woodsmiths and polish it for me? Give me money for the polish. Okay. See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Okay. So. We'll go back to the... Uh... Carpenter here. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Uh. Could I buy some wood polish? That's one piece of eight. Anything else? I'd just like to browse, thanks. Okay, but don't touch anything. Oh God. Okay, we'll go back and we'll polish his bloody leg. Um, there we go. Thanks! Here's a piece of eight for your trouble. Nice! Can I open it? Nice! Can I get the mouse in there? I wonder if I'm supposed to... Let's talk to them real quick. I wonder if... What is it this time, Fly Brunch? Is that your rat? Yes. We call him Munster Monster because of his insatiable passion for cheese. How come you have to perform on that ledge? Ah, uh, to show the precarious nature of the situation. Eh, uh, okay, so to speak. To right, right. I think you're overlooking the potential symbolism to be gained by your closeness to the Earth. Um, but... All right, you got us. We're really up here because... Well, we're afraid to come down. What? What's the word for it, Frank? Uh, uh, hmm. Dirtophobia, groundophobia, terraphobia. Terraphobia? It's the opposite of acrophobia. Something like... Orcaphobia. To say. Sounds more like workophobia to me. Say what you will, we're not coming down. 
See you later. We can scarcely contain our anticipation. Okay. Okay, so... We definitely need... Okay, so let's see. We were just there. Beach, swamp, cemetery. Was this just where I was? Because if it is, I'm going to be super PO'd. Nice. Hmm. This door appears to be locked. Okay. Steam and weenies. 20 feet. Don't... There's nothing over here. To the swamp. Uh, see if we can find the ceramics in the swamp. Yes, here we go. Creepy, but apparently seaworthy. It looks murky. Uh, he's coughing. Oh. model. Guybrush Threepwood. What up? It's been a long time since you last came to see me. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Ah. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Largo's clothing. Got and a lock of hair Dragging. will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Now go. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, well, I know where we can get some fluid. Okay. International House of Mojo. Okay. Well, I take it we're near the cemetery, yeah? Although I'll probably need a shovel. Hello. Stands casual crosses for graves that don't need to dress up. 
The Rickens, no trespassing. Stan's Cozy Crypts, a place to spend eternity, not a fortune. The Quagmires, no trespassing. Warning, quarantine tomb, inhabitants died of green tongue fever. I don't know what that means, but it sounds filthy. <laughs> Wait. Marco Largo Legrand, uh -huh. hell on sea or sand. The good news is he's dead. The bad news is he bred. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Okay, so I'm gonna have to dig that up. But I'll need a shovel to do that. So we know where to go for that. The grouts. No trespassing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll need a shovel for that nonsense. But I know where you can get fluid. I had a feeling I was gonna need that. Peninsula. Mm. Okay. That's sick, and I hate it. I don't want to touch it with my hands. Well, what am I supposed to do with it? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Is that job available yet? Sorry, that guy I hired is doing just fine so far. Um... Want to see my scar? Depends. Is there a good story behind it? As a matter of fact, there is. It's a story of the ghost pirate LeChuck and his gruesome demise. Heard it. This is the one where he drinks too much root beer and burps so hard he explodes, right? Not exactly. Frankly, I don't care much for stories that promote moderation in drinking. I do have a business to run, you know. Grog, please. The shaken, not stir. <laughs> Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! Ah. That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown-ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait, what am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Who's this Kate person you mentioned? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Okay, so I need to do something to get that. Can I, like, steal some laundry? I wonder if some of his laundry would be the two in one but go there. It's sparkly clean. No ticket, no laundry. He looks nice enough. Mm. I'd like to pick up some clothes. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? I dropped it in my grog and it melted. Log welted it? Well, now that is a good excuse. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. I'd like to pick up some clothes. Let's try something. You have your claim ticket, Sonny? No, I don't have my claim ticket. You don't have to shout at me. I can hear you. But I can't give you your clothes without a claim ticket. Oops, I thought I wanted to talk to you, but I don't. Okay, so something tells me I'm going to have to go to that peninsula. To go find 
Kate, Captain Kate capsize. This is gonna get confusing real quick. <laughs> did I go to the beach? Yes, I did. Houseboat. It's like my dream life. Living on a houseboat. Or in Canada, one of the two. <laughs> Are you wagging your tail? Hello? Hello, man. My name's Captain Dre. What can I do for you? Because he's got dreadlocks. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it? No way, man. Besides, that mean and nasty guy Largo, he has an embargo on the island. The Largo no embargo. can sail in or out without his approval. There's no way he would let me leave. Tell me more about that necklace thingy you lost. It happened some time ago. My navigator and I set sail for this legendary island. When we arrived, we were taken prisoner by cannibals. I escaped, man. But my navigator was not so lucky. All I found of him was one of his eyeballs. And I've kept it as a good luck job. Gee, I think I've met your friend. Unlikely. Navy dreads. Thanks, man. I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Well. That was useless. Okay, so we're gonna have to find Largo, which I'm just gonna... What about him? Hello. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my, um, sister once had. Reminds me of a dollhouse I once had. I mean, my, um, sister once had. Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Uh, excuse me. Yes? Nice place you have here. Well, goodbye. Okie dokie. Okay, let's we'll see if he takes that monocle off. Shit. If I take it, I could bribe him, I suppose, yeah? Nice monocle. Thanks. I can't see a thing without it. Oh, fuck. Got it. Okay. Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without me monocle. Uh, excuse me. Who's there? I can't see anything without my monocle. Nice place you have here. Well, goodbye. Okie dokie. Okay, I hate taking that. Where is that thing? I swear I put it right here. Okay, I don't... <laughs> Apparently... I'm a moron, which sounds about right. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay, so I'm a moron, didn't realize that was there. So, I can go and get that. Um... Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well, no. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Okay, well that was easy. Don't know what the bucket's for. Can I use that to get that spit off the wall? As gross as that is. Okay, so I need some thread, which I'll need the laundry for. Not what I wanted. Wait, was there like another floor to that? 
I hope I didn't lose it. I'll bring it back, don't worry. I'll never be able to afford a new one. That's sick. There isn't enough spit to put in the bucket. Oh, I hate it. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Quit spitting! Oh, I hate it! Okay. Okay, so we'll go back to the beach. Beach. I don't know what I need to stick for. But there we go. And then we will go down to the cemetery. This is creepy feeling. Had I known it was like this, I thought I would have played it around Halloween. Wait, why did you- I swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. Okay. So, dumb now. I don't know where he's at. No, he's at the thing, yeah? Okie dokie. So we've got that. Excuse me. Don't bug me. I'm cooking. The barkeep might see me. And there's no glass in the window. Okay, so there's that. Um... Okay, there's something we're supposed to do with this. Like, you're supposed to get blank paper? How am I supposed to work? A pile of paper. Dang. I'm such a dope. I ain't out loud. I hope it didn't roll onto the floor. Oh. So let's see. I think what we can do now is we will use. What the hell? It's tied to the post. Use knife with rope. Hey, how old Pegbiter get loose? Pegbiter. I better go catch him before he catches somebody else. But... It's a bit on the tattered side. Nice. Who let you into my room? I, uh, thought it was my room? Well, it ain't! So get the f*** out of here! <laughs> Cheese squigglies! One of my favorites! Okay, so I don't know what that, but I imagine that's gonna be something later. Okay. Um, so there's that. So we've got, what, we've got hair, bone, um, so we need spit, and 
thread, yeah? So there's a lot going on. I will come back and we will play a little bit later. Um, but in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching this episode. Be sure to chomp down on that like button if you did like it. Leave a comment down below with any other game suggestions or video ideas that you'd like to see from me. Share this channel with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already to see other videos that I've done. We'll see you all for the next one. And when you're a professional pirate, you'll be honest, brave, and free. The soul of decency. You'll be loyal and fair and on the square. And most importantly, when you're a professional pirate,